Hello everyone and welcome to the Barrel Bros Podcast. Now if you read the title, you can tell today that we're going to talk about a specialty change for Ras, the face of the hit Korean mobile game, Epic 7. Now this is not a uh, news story, but this is what uh, I, myself, and Lewis here yep. uh, might like to see in the future. Oh, since yeah. uh, we feel that Ras is very underappreciated in a game that's all about him. All right, so the first thing we're we're uh, going to get into here is, you know, why do we think Ras needs a specialty change? Well, that's that's a pretty easy one. Uh, once you start rolling in the game and you get something better than a three star fire tank, you you replace them immediately. Like there's yeah. no real reason to keep Ras running while you're getting further in the game. About three quarters of the way through the game, just the original episode one story is about where Raz starts getting outclassed by everything else that you roll. Uh, yeah, just practically, there's not much... He's not bad, okay? He's not a bad hero to run, but there isn't... There's just not much of a reason to run him. You, you, you start running into better heroes that provide more for you pretty early on in the game. The thing is, canonically, story-wise... He should be one of the strongest heroes in the game. Yeah, he should be. I think he is one of the most powerful people on the planet. Yeah. According to the lore. Like, he's yeah. beating up everybody on the planet. You know, he stopped the Arc Demon finally just by himself with no help from the goddess. I mean, he is, like, decking celestial beings left and yeah. right. He's. Yeah. He should be better mechanically than he is currently. Yeah, because, I mean, just... you know, like, episode one, towards the end, he fights Arbiter Vildred, wins. He just 1v1s that scrub and just destroys him. In reality, we know how that goes. Yeah. He then goes on to fight Archdemon Mercedes, 1v1, wins. Oh, yeah. Once again, we know how that would actually go. And now, in episode two, he has his future opponent... Who's going to be Strays, who destroys entire planets and kills gods as a hobby. So, <laughs> things yeah. aren't looking too good for our boy. Now, we can't do too much speculation about that one, since uh, yeah. it's pretty debatable right now, according to the actual story. Is Ras actually going to fight Strays? Yeah. Or is K-Ron going to, you know, teleport behind you, nothing personnel kid, and steal all of Strays' power? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cask. I'm kind of memeing about that, but... I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be funny. So, as it stands right now, Ras, once you get a little higher up, is, for all intents and purposes, useless compared to what you could have otherwise. So, uh, we just sat around one day and we figured, let's see how we could make a potential Ras specialty change. So, you there viewing at home may be asking... When could this possibly happen? And so we had a couple ideas about that. Right. So the first thought was uh, it would be right before he'd fight Strays at the end of Episode 2. Uh, yeah, and my reasoning for that is currently he just doesn't... I don't think he could take on Strays. Oh, no. Um, I mean, like, with help, he probably could, maybe. But up to this point, I don't think anyone has proven themselves to be strong enough of taking on Strays. So yeah, they've they've kind of written themselves into a corner without something like this happening. Yeah. Uh, another potential time could be they could just release it as part of a side story, either near the end or after episode two finishes. Yeah. As I could definitely see there being a side story to fill in the gap between episode two and three, like a month long, where Ras undergoes a specialty change. Possibly, yeah. Those are. Right now, those are the only two real ideas when this could happen. And so that begs the eternal question. Will SC Ras be a Hasubanda? <laughs> That's the question. What will he look like? Because, so, uh, like, if you had asked me, you know, like, a couple, like, several months ago, um, I would have been okay with SC Ras looking like a Vagabond Ras. I mean, that's a pretty good look, and it's a pretty good story to go along with it. Yeah, but uh, that's not 
that can't be a thing anymore, so. Um, as far as ideas of what it looked like, uh... See, I'm kind of feeling like he might just, uh, go Super Saiyan, like, uh, Mega Lucario from Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. He just goes Super Saiyan. He, like, he just looks exactly the same, but with a minor, yet, uh, pretty noticeable change to his hair or overcoat. Yeah, yeah. Just a subtle, subtle change in outfit, maybe. Maybe. Maybe his SC will be he gets married to Mercedes. <laughs> The only change in appearance is he now wears a wedding ring. <laughs> True. All right, so now that we've gotten, you know, when we think he'll be coming, uh, why we want a specialty change Rass, and, you know, basically he's going to look like he's Super Saiyan. Um, <laughs> the, the, the big question, the big question, and the most important thing is, what will he do? That's the big thing. Oh, yeah, because uh, as he is right now, his abilities aren't that bad. They're not. They're just lacking in the stats and the oomph. The oomph. He, he likes the oomph of the main character, dude. Yeah, yeah. He, this is the main character of what's essentially a shonen anime in game form. Yeah, I mean, so let's just briefly go over what he does currently so his s1 whatever the hell it's called i think it's called uh, uh like x -Strike. i'll probably i'll probably show a clip of me mousing over this stuff in post but <laughs> his s1 the, the gist of it is it strips buffs off the enemy or it strips one buff off the enemy like right, se right, right, 75 right, right. chance or something his s2 calls in a dual attack from a member of your team. But it's the one with the highest attack. And it's the one with the highest attack. That's his most useful ability. Oh, yeah. Um, and for a while, it, that was unique to him, but I, I think there are a couple of heroes in the game that can do that kind of thing now. Yeah, like Lilius on her S1. Lilius on her S1. Uh, Tamarind can call dual attacks. Kitty Clarissa. That kind of thing. Uh, and his S3 AoE attack increases... Uh, the defense of all allies, and it heals him for, as far as I'm concerned, um, an amount that doesn't matter at all. It's a super <laughs> small amount. What should he actually have now? So we've, uh, we've talked about this for a while, like what sort of abilities should SC Rass have? And they've ranged from the ludicrous <laughs> to, uh, relatively balanced to, uh, really fitting the actual lore of what we think yeah. well, he should have. I don't want to say... I don't want us to claim balanced. <laughs> I, don't I said relatively. <laughs> Rel I, don't, I don't want us to claim balanced, because we aren't really in a... First of all, it's Smilegate. Uh, there's no sense of balance in this fucking game, as far as yeah, I'm yeah, concerned. Yeah. But also, we're not really in a position to claim what's balanced and imbalanced. No. Um, start with S1. Right. S1. So, currently, just a basic attack has a chance to uh, strip a buff. Yeah. So, uh, we were thinking, that's pretty good. Yeah. What if we made it better? Yes. So, uh, our thought on that was to uh, have the same exact thing, put a defense down on it. That's pretty good as a nice general support tank kind of deal. Uh, we also had the idea of uh, perhaps instead of having the defense down on it, we could uh, put on, I don't know, make it strip all buffs. Strip all buffs? Um, maybe instead of, because defense down is kind of, that's kind of generic. A lot of heroes have defense down, so maybe not defense down, but maybe taunt. taunt he strips, then taunts with his S1. Um, I... I know there are also heroes that do that, like, I think Fallen Cecilia has Taunt on S1. But, he I mean, he's a tank, right? And it sort of fits the lore of him, right? Yeah. He strips buffs to open up the enemy, and he supports his team by taking all the attacks. Right? And especially in the specially changed form where he's learned about the power of friendship and not <laughs> shouldering the whole weight of the world on your back. Yeah. Yeah, so... He supports his team, lets them do all the damage, 
that kind of thing. I think that's a pretty solid one for the S1. Strip buffs, taunt, pretty basic, solo enemy. Yeah. Uh, S2. Now, I think his S2 is good. It is. It's his best ability for sure. So it doesn't necessarily need to be changed. Um, we had the idea where um, maybe since he does have a healing effect in his kit already in the S3, uh, maybe whenever he calls in, you know, the teammate for the dual attack, maybe they are both healed for some amount, right, on the S2. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that could be a thing. It doesn't have to be a large amount. Um, I also had the idea of maybe instead of a heal, maybe it provides uh, a barrier. Maybe to both of them or just the person he calls in. Yeah, both of those are pretty good ideas that I feel fit the lore of the character. Um, you know, if you want to go all in on the power of friendship... Uh, Maybe the person he calls in is inspired, and they receive an attack buff. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, uh, you can't have the attack buff along with no, some no. of those it other would, it would not. No. The order would not be attack buff, then dual attack. It would be dual attack, <laughs> then attack buff. I don't know, man. That'd be pretty <laughs> great. That'd be a way to get him on the top of the leaderboard. <laughs> <laughs> it would be, yeah. Uh... All right, so... <laughs> What's next? S3. S3. So currently, it just, uh, it's an AoE. Does some damage. Not a whole lot. Yeah. Gives him an attack buff. Not an attack buff. A defense buff. And heals a very small amount. Yeah, it's so small to the point where I consider it insignificant. Pretty much. Oh, yeah. It is. It's not worth it. The ability overall is not, um... It's not bad, but it just doesn't it doesn't do much. Uh, a defense buff is useful, although in my experience, I don't see many people repping a hero that buffs defense. Um, so my idea was, it's already got the defense buff, right? And we already have greater attack in the game. Right. So maybe as the main character, he's the first character that gets greater defense up. I mean, I would be down for that. That also might be broken. Maybe. Uh, maybe. I mean, the only thing that would be worse would be greater defense down. Defense down is already like 75%. Yeah, it's just 70. <laughs> greater yeah, defense like down, 100 for... 150. <laughs> 150%, percent. Percent, yeah. But yeah, greater defense up. I mean... There are a bunch of characters in the game that have, like, AoE buff strips, so... I don't know. I don't think... It might be broken. I don't know. But it would fit his already existing kit. Another idea was, um... It's already got the healing effect as well. So maybe instead of just applying to him, it's AoE. Uh, it's, so he'd have an AoE heal similar to, like, Armin, who's also a tank. She has an AoE heal in her S3. You could throw on another buff, so defense up and immunity, or maybe defense up and barrier. He's 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 already got, um, you know, the strip in his S1, so maybe tack it onto his S3, just make it AOE, AOE strip, if you want to get ridiculous, AOE strip, defense up to all allies, and taunt, <laughs> if you want to get ridiculous. Yeah, that's that's absolutely um, ludicrous. That is not our most ludicrous idea by far. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. That's not our yeah. That's not our most ridiculous idea. What was our most ridiculous? Uh, our idea? most ridiculous idea was uh, AOE silence right. plus uh, <laughs> plus a legit heal on Ras with defense up for the whole party. But yeah, that was just AOE we were silence. just memeing there. That was a hard meme. Yeah. Moral of the story, regardless of regardless of our idea, our possible <laughs> ideas, okay? Ignore all that. The moral of the story is Ras needs a specialty change. Oh yeah. Definitely. And his specialty change needs to improve him to the point that he's worth using. Because look, what are the big specialty changes right now that are worth using? That you see a lot. Commander Lorena, right? Um, and 
I'd say Angelic Momo is arguably the most powerful of the special changes. Definitely so. Definitely the most powerful one. See, I use Hazel a lot. Hazel's good. Hazel's good. Um, I've heard of people using Rickerus with great success, right? I don't really hear many people using Butcher Core Inquisitor or uh, or Carrot. The only reason to get Carrot's SC is for the aesthetic. These specialty changes need to be worth using, okay? Because it takes a lot of work to improve, the thing, uh, improve these things, man. It takes a lot of work. To plus 30 a specialty change, it takes forever. Uh, <laughs> yes, it does. Like, Good if Lord. we take a look at, you know, my, um, my Chaos God axe here... At plus 30 skill tree, this took me for fucking ever, right? <laughs> so It's like 400 and something yeah. Doritos. So it would be, it would just be a spit in the face to all players if SG, well first of all, it would be a spit in the face if they didn't make it, especially change Rass, right? But then if they did, and he, he wasn't worth using, that would just be, it'd be abysmal. Oh yeah. <laughs> so now we've hit every reason why we need them. And then we've even posited some ideas that maybe Smilegate and their infinite wisdom could look at. <laughs> and of course, you know, maybe get some ideas from. I mean, that's not going to happen, but it'd be nice. Really? This is just a uh, nice theory crafting right here. If you liked it, let us know. If you think we're absolute buffoons, let us know. <laughs> if you have your own ideas, let us know. Stay tuned for yeah. uh, specialty change Adlai, who deals massive damage.